With all due respect, Mr. Vern, hmm? I believe you're going the wrong way. Young lady, how did you get all the way up here? Are you lost? Likewise, Mr. Vern. Why not come back down with me? My final science adventure novel. The ultimate destination of man. Perhaps you shouldn't put the rocket before the horse, so to speak. Pardon, mademoiselle, but... What is the purpose of this... Uh, inquisition? Quite simply, you have not shown them far enough. Within. Utter nonsense. What could be deeper than the center of the earth? Not exactly the right question, but I suppose it's a start. Well, Mr. Vern, shall we? Mais quelle manière! You have not properly introduced yourself, yet presume to seek my companionship pour une aventure. How do you do? I'm Alice Little, and like you, I never refuse a... How do you refer to it? Hmm. Voyage extraordinaire? You do not fear the fire. Not anymore. But it's not my fears that are of lasting relevance. Forget not the strength of stories. And your adventure novels, whether inspired by hope or by fear, will in turn inspire others. I wonder, what does Mr. Vern fear? I look to the skies, not with fear, but with intent. Our future. Proceed. Oh. Beyond, through the fog. Your noteworthy curiosity is contagious, Mr. Vern. And sometimes, curious children into lives of scientific discovery die. Oh. Young I may be. I've come to learn not all men of science are driven by noble pursuits. Is this not self-evident? In your work, I'm afraid not. I ask again, what do you fear? Aha! But that which surrounds us, I neither recognize nor fear. Of what nature is this beast which you have manifested? With neither a beginning nor end, it has not yet revealed a discernible shape, though try as I have to cast light upon it. An undeniable leviathan, yes, but, but always just out of sight. Omnipresent. Encircling. Aversion and willful ignorance. Boss, only temporary solution. Nonetheless, give me the will. Though not yet understanding the nature of your own beast, you presume to guide me towards mine? Your skepticism is justified, but lacking full clarity does not induce, nor justify inaction, nor has it ever. But yes, even advances by those of noble intention are not immune from unintended consequences, whether from lack of foresight or external manipulation. On the importance of perpetual reflection, I concur. But 
Can men of free will be persuaded so? Perhaps not. But I'm here, aren't I? Do you not feel responsibility for the endeavors of those you inspire? Hmm. Deeper than the humble beginnings of man is his dark nature. Then, will you take us there? I now wonder, is this hell? Perhaps you fear it may one day become reality. Only hell on earth can halt man's destined ascension to the heaven. Oh! We, our very bright test, will lead mankind to one of two inevitable ends. You know the question now. Yes. Though first guided only by blind intuition, I have been here before. I return now with a question and a purpose to reveal the answer to those that need to hear it most. What lies within the nature of man that can usher forth such a world? Hmm. Well, we all have 